subject. Yeah, no, just a subject. Straight left and throw that right hook. Straight left to the chest. My name is Uto Valin and this is summer 2020. We're in New York City in Bryant Park and right now we got the situation with the coronavirus and we kind of uh, in lockdown still. A lot of places are closed, the gyms, the stores, the restaurants are closed so I have to do a lot of training in my apartment but that goes pretty well. I got a lot of equipment and stuff so I, I get good work there and then I'm training with Joey in, in Central Park. We can do a lot of boxing training out there, so it works good for right now, but hopefully the gyms are going to start opening up and everything will get better. Yes, COVID-19 has improved in New York thanks to Andrew Cuomo. Uh, he's done a great job as a governor, so we're real happy with that. Uh, regarding the boxing gyms being closed, that's difficult. We've been training outside and getting work right there. 
you know, it, it, there's always good things too, to things that uh, are different, like training outdoors. You got the mother nature of it, the hot weather. It's always good training because, you know, you got to be ready for the heat and different things. But yeah, New York is rebuilding itself. It's not going to be the same. Uh, I think masks are going to be worn a lot more. New York, it's different. It's much quieter. The subways, Madison Square Garden, all these different locations. It's very quiet. Times Square, uh, 34th Street, all, all these places. You're seeing a lot of people stay in and um, social distance. They're, they're doing it smart. They are uh, being careful. The other night, there was... Uh, some action of course on downtown and Cuomo wasn't happy with that but all in all we're, we're doing a good job. Uh, when all this started I didn't have any equipment so I had to buy some stuff. I bought a bike, I bought some weights and some different stuff so right now the training is going pretty well at home and that works that works pretty good for right now and then I'm training with Joey in Central Park and we do a lot of pad work, uh, different stuff. Uh, it would be nice to have a gym, but for right now it works good anyways. Just trying to get better with what we have and, and hopefully everything will start opening up more. The biggest difference with training in a gym and training outside is maybe that it's not so hot outside always. When the sun is out, it's hot, but the gyms can be really hot too. So it feels good to be outside and and I like being outside, so I don't mind training there. So I fought Tyson Fury almost a year ago now, and it was a good fight and a very good experience for me. And I need experience for my career to get better, so so really, really good experience and I learned a lot from it and I hope that's going to show in my next fight that I, I've improved and I learned a lot from that fight. Right now we're working just to get better. This From my fight with Fury, you see that I do a lot of things good and some things not so good, so trying to improve everything all the time and just to get better and of course this some things will work, work more than others, but I don't want to talk about that too much. But we got a, we got a good plan and everything is working out good. I got, I got my, I'm going to have fights coming up later on. And I think that when I get back in the ring, we're going to have a few good fights and hopefully I position myself for another shot. Well, he's improved a lot just for the fact that he, know, that he knew that he, he could take Tyson Fury 12 rounds. Uh, he did a great job. He really fought hard. And you know, when you really look at it, Tyson Fury was very fortunate to have won that fight for the fact that those cuts, 48 stitches, were very damaging and any other referee or doctor would have stopped that fight. In a different state. In a different state, that's right. So uh, yeah, it was a great experience for us. Otto's improved a lot because now he knows he belongs there. Um, he's excited about the future, knowing that, hey, the sky's the limit. And we, uh, we want to get things going. Well, Otto's uh, dr drastically improved a lot from this fight. And as I said earlier, that we needed that just for the experience. Um, I felt like with his jab, his power, his uh, faith and confidence has shot up. I mean, because hey, when you get into a fight like that, you know, uh, it reveals who you really are. And, and that's what happened with Otto, it showed all his capabilities. And I feel like Otto's improved so much from that and we're, we're happy and excited about getting on with his career. Um, you know, he fought the best heavyweight in the world and took him the distance 12 rounds and you know, uh, was in that fight and, and, you know, very, very impressed. And I, Otto's got a great career. He's going to be heavyweight champion of the world. So it's just a matter of time. I met Joey in Denmark in 2013. And 
I felt right away that we had similar philosophies and we liked pretty much the same stuff. He always emphasized good basics and he could always explain everything very good and that's what I liked because some trainers you get, they will just tell you to do stuff but they can't explain it. So I liked with Joey that when I asked something he could explain it, why we were doing it. And so that I think helped me gain his trust or gain my trust towards him and I think we had good chemistry and we both like to work hard and we know that we have to be very serious and put everything we have into the sport to get better. So I think that's very important that you have a trainer that you trust and he trusts you and we learn from each other. So now it's 2020 and we're in New York and we're still working together and everything's going well according to plan <clears throat> and right now we got the situation with COVID-19 here in New York so it's a lot different things are starting to open up a little bit more but we still the still gyms are closed uh, a lot of shops and restaurants are still closed so it's a lot different it's not as much people out in the street even though it's picking up it's not the same as it used to but hopefully everything will start getting better now and I think it is getting better. And I'm ready to get back in the ring. I haven't fought since September 2019 when I fought Fury. So I'm very eager to get back in the ring and, and show everybody that that wasn't a fluke. So I'm feeling good and we're having good training. We've done some training in Central Park, which is very nice to be outside. And we got a lot of good things here and it's a lot of energy around so it's a nice place to train and not just be inside of a gym all the time. So I like it. Yeah. I've been in New York for three years now and I'm loving it. It's, it's very nice. It was a little tough in the beginning because there's a big difference coming from a small town in Sweden coming to New York. So I had to adapt a little bit but now everything is great. I, I, I live in Chelsea. We're getting good work. I love New York because there's a lot of people, a lot of energy and endless opportunities. And I think this is the place you want to be if you want to be a boxer because boxing is big over here. And we got a lot of good work, good sparring, good media, everything. So this is the place I want to be. Abilities. We've been together for like seven years now. Um, of course, on that big stage, he hadn't fought in quite a while. Um, you know, to deliver a performance like he did against Fury was very impressive. And he impressed me. Did a lot of good things in there, and he did, deserves to be uh, acknowledged for that. And that's what's what that's what's happening. We're excited about the future and going to keep moving forward. Thank you all for supporting Otto. He deserves it. He's a good guy. Um, his mom, Lena, his family, Peter, uh, Morton, all of them, they support him. Uh, yeah, big things are coming for Otto, so it's one step at a time. He's still a, a young fighter in the sense he's 29, but he still only has 21 fights. So uh, we need more experience, keep developing. And that big moment comes again, we're going to win the championship. Kyle Willen is his father, a great man. He passed away recently and, uh, you know, a real special guy. That's where Otto comes from, that background. I think since the Fury fight it's almost been a year so I've grown more, I'm getting stronger, my technique is getting better because I'm always training, I'm always trying to improve so I think my speed, my power, I think everything is getting better and it's starting to come, come together everything and I'm 29 now so I'm growing more into 
a real heavyweight. So, so I'm really looking forward to fight again and to show everybody that I've improved. You know, we got two champions out there, Tyson Fury and Joshua, and you know, Otto just gave Fury a hell of a fight. So, you know, we're looking forward to that getting in that mix. But that being said, hey, we're still looking to get some developing fights and keep busy, stay active, and be ready for that moment. I think, like you always said, that we're gonna have some some fights that we like, and to make me keep developing and get more experience. So when the time comes and I fight for a world title, then I'm gonna be ready and I'm gonna win it.